Have you ever noticed that when you lie and cheat your way to success, fate has a way of making you pay for your misdeeds? Well, that's what Lincoln found out in the episode I'm going to talk about today. So join me as I, Steam Team Reed WK, CC Trainer Ling, bring you another retro review from past seasons of The Loud House. Cue the intro! Today's episode is What Would Lincoln Do? In this episode, Lincoln tries his hand at woodworking, but he has a history of not being very good at it. This is a very simple premise, and it's very straightforward in what direction it's going to take based on what happens in the beginning. Lincoln knows he can't do woodwork to save his life and completely loses focus when he tries to make the effort. Plus, he's not very handy with tools, and trying to put together a step stool makes that very clear. This doesn't necessarily mean he's lazy and doesn't want to do the work per se, but it's easy to make that assumption because he'd rather buy a pre-made step stool and take an already built birdhouse and pass them off as his own creations. To him, he doesn't want to look like a failure for trying to do something his mom can do like it's nobody's business. And I think we've all experienced those face-saving moments at some point. Just as a quick side note, I really enjoyed seeing Rita in this episode. Not only was it great seeing her and Lincoln bonding together, something that hasn't really been done since the first season episode, A Novel Idea, but she also demonstrated how good she is at working on various wood projects, something that was hinted at in the episode come sail away. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure the dining room table she was refurbishing in that episode was made of wood. But anyway, Lincoln shows off his finished projects knowing someone other than him did the work, and his lying about being an expert leads him to having to construct a dresser for his teacher. He goes to the store with Clyde to buy a dresser, take it back to Mrs. Johnson's house, and hoist it up into her bedroom before she comes back. However, thanks to an angry Walt seeking revenge on Lincoln for stealing his birdhouse from earlier, his plan of deception literally slips out of his hands and falls apart. As expected, Lincoln ends up admitting how it was actually his mom who built the step stool and how he didn't really make the birdhouse either. His original grades for those projects are rightfully taken away, but he's still given a pass when he presents a step stool he actually attempted to build himself. He learned that he has to at least try to put the work into something challenging if he ever wants to overcome said challenge. Mrs. Johnson could see he really tried his best on the second step stool and was proud of him for doing it the right way. So despite trying to take the dishonest and cowardly approach of getting things done, he still gets a happy ending. One thing I would have done differently was maybe have his teacher still give him a failing grade for lying about the authenticity of his projects. It could serve as a reminder of what happens when you're caught cheating, but the ending we got was still fine. Overall, this episode does a pretty decent job of illustrating the lesson on how it's better to try your best and fail than it is to lie about your capabilities. Lincoln was the cause of his own problems when one lie led to another, and he only had himself to blame when it was revealed he wasn't the master woodworker he wanted his teacher to think he was. Rita was also a big positive for not only teaching her son how to put together a step stool, but she also gets major props for refusing to build the birdhouse Lincoln needed for class. She knew he was never going to learn for himself if he kept having someone else do all the work, so that was a nice parenting moment right there. The gag with Walt chasing down Lincoln for stealing his birdhouse was a little overdone, but it was perfectly understandable why this bird was hell-bent on getting revenge, and I also appreciated the opening notes to Flight of the Valkyries playing every time Walt set his eyes on Lincoln. The only real critique I have is Clyde constantly bringing up the fact he can't blow up balloons because he always passes out. It got super annoying long before the final few seconds of the episode. I understand it was used as a way of demonstrating to Lincoln how someone should at least try to conquer something impossible no matter how many times they fail, and yet the face Clyde makes at the end suggests he's more than just merely terrified of losing consciousness from balloons. Then again, I'm not sure why a public school would take the time to explore the clowning arts when woodworking is a more useful life skill worth learning about. But, hey, I'm not a teacher, so it's just whatever. With that said, I give What Would Lincoln Do? an 8 out of 10. Well, folks, that concludes my review of What Would Lincoln Do? So I gotta ask, what did you guys think of this episode? Sound off in the comments below, and be sure to click that subscribe button for more Loud House-related content. That's going to do it for me. I'll catch you guys for the next video. But until then, this is Steam Team Read Up UK, CC Trainer Ling, signing off. Peace out, home slices.